telling y'all, it's so easy to get dreadlocks. Hey, by the way, I have like a, you know, with like a high taper. I don't know what to do with it, man. He did his hair. He has a little bit of buildup. Oh, no, I got a lot of it. A little bit, I'll trust me. Brother, I got a lot of it. This is the sec third or fourth, whichever it is. But this, so last time I dyed my hair, I actually had to do two because of my thickness of my hair. I do wanna see it, but. Like this is the end result. He did it. Oh, shoot. Big vibes, big vibes, big vibes. Let's go. Welcome back to another video of Activers Universe today. Is a new day yes. and we got a what? We got a banger, 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 banger. Oh, let's, let's go. go. All right, guys, happy holidays and also soon to be Christmas. So, Merry Christmas to you guys. Today, basically, I'm gonna be going over my dreadlocks, and it has been almost two years. Technically about I would say 20 23 months uh, of my you know dread growth uh, I got it at the end of December That's why I'm not counting this month yet because I haven't fully gotten there yet But I've had my dreadlock for almost two years guys. So thank you guys for you know supporting my journey uh, I know I started like five six months after I started my dreadlock I started my YouTube channel and so it's been growing so much and we almost at 20k and it's crazy to see that that amount of people subscribe to my channel like 20,000 people we have had close to 2 million views for a whole entire youtube channel but at the same time you know there's a lot of growth to to come and a lot of things to achieve and i am happy that i am uh, at a place where i'm at today in 2020 uh doing youtube and doing internet stuff basically because you know, pandemic shut a lot of different things down. One of the things that will not shut, even in the future, is the internet and the access to internet. Besides my point, I'm gonna be just reviewing my hair right now and telling you guys what I basically I went through to get to this drill arc. But before we get into it, you know what we do all the time. Here it is, intro! Intro! guys like I said I've had my hair for almost two years and within those period of time I've had it in different hairstyles but my favorite one that I that you guys always see and you know is ponytail I I should have rocked it down much more when I had my dreadlocks like much shorter because now when I go back and look at the old pictures or the videos I'm like dang that looked good I should have just rocked it down like my goal with my whole dreadlock was literally to get into ponytail to where it looks good it's easy to maintain it's not hard to really you know take care of but within those two years basically I went from I think about six inches to now over I think 17 inches my hair is really 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 wrong it's curly right now so one of the cons of dreadlocks is whenever you is the moment that you lock it up it gets shorter so if your hair was like this long just without the locks when you lock it up it will be much shorter and that's what happened to mine when i started my dreadlocks it was really long and i've grown i grew my dreads for about a year and a half maybe before i locked it don't start too early with your dreadlocks i'm telling you do what you love to do like you know two strand twists different kind of hairstyles because i did i did all that before i got my dreadlocks and once i got the dreadlocks i released my youtube channel but before that trust me i got i had braids i had two strand twist, twist that i did multiple times different kind of hairstyles basically to get first of all to get my hair healthy and also in a way to have enough length to where i feel like i have dreadlocks versus just tiny locks but if that's what you guys want to start with you know it's up to you but i prefer for me that's what i start that's what i recommend because a lot of people ask me in the dms within this two year period of time i'm gonna talk about the biggest struggle that i've had with dreadlocks the biggest struggle that i've had with dreadlock is the andreff that i dealt with personally uh even before my dreadlocks uh even before my dreadlocks i had that issue but with dreadlocks being added to it you know how dreadlocks like to hold everything together so that's the biggest and toughest thing that i had to go through within this journey so that will be 
uh, something to take note of if you having a dandruff issues before dreadlocks it does not it gets worse with dreadlocks basically but if you of course wash it and try to keep it as healthy as possible you should be good you shouldn't be worried about too much besides that the second issue that i had with dreadlocks was the retwisting part i had to retwist it i had to do it myself and unless you got a loctician or you go to or somebody in your house that knows how to do dreadlocks it is hard for you to keep that maintenance up because your hair lock your hair your dreadlocks is always trying to lock itself up and you trying to unlock it to make it a single locks like this uh you know with, between your hair unless you want to go for free form hairstyle which i did for about first eight months nine months ten months of my dreadlock journey because i had nobody to retwist it and i didn't retwist it myself <laughs> so i had literally a whole a whole gang of locks locked up like this till Gunther the Great saved my life in November 2019 uh, when he unlocked my dreadlocks and locked them up for me basically. So give me a retwist, that's what I'm saying. That had been one of the toughest parts to keep dreadlocks or to cut it because I was like, if I'm not doing it myself because if, if I don't have the time to do it myself, then why I have dreadlocks, you know, it's becoming free form. Just get rid of it or something. But a lot of people encourage me to get a retwist or to go somebody that know what they're doing and boom. And with that recommendation, basically, y'all saved my life. So. A lot of times you guys see content coming on your way, but a lot of times that I read your comments too and take it personally saying, oh, I need to do this to do that. The other third struggle, I wouldn't say struggle, but you know, it was like, uh, why? Why me type of thing was whenever I had to, whenever I was graduating, I couldn't put my hair in a, in a, in a place to where I could put my cap, graduation cap on. But I figured out a way and I uploaded a video. There should be a video called How to Put Your Graduation Cap on Dreadlocks. So if you guys want to check that out, if you guys are graduating this year or in the future and you have dreadlocks, check that video out because I believe that was a struggle. That's a struggle with every person that has dreadlocks and putting a graduation cap or a hat on. And uh, do hat go with dreadlocks. I've done a video on that also. And you guys will learn basically what you can do to wear those things that people usually wear, you know, like people wear beanies, people wear, um, you know, hats or visors and, and stuff like that. After I went from free forming to basically getting my dreadlocks unlocked to having a regular maintained dreadlocks, what I did right after that was I bleached my hair half and half. And when I bleached my hair half and half, it was a almost like a new, it was like almost like a new version of me. <laughs> It's like a whole different. I look, I look, I looked really different. I would say a lot of people were like, like, what the heck? And a lot of people were like, that's pretty cool. You know, like a lot of people come to me like, that's pretty cool. Or you know, they type up on online, that's pretty cool. Should I have done that, or should I have just bleached my whole entire hair? And so recently, I posted like I think the previous video I posted, uh, me doing half and half, and that's how I did it. And on the first video that I did, I don't think I included the whole entire process of it. So on this video that I did on last, I included the whole entire process because I missed out some things. But that's my first hair dye that I had in my journey. And that was uh, not dye, but bleach. That was my second bleach. The first bleach is actually when I had my tips bleached. And that was like literally in the beginning start of my dreadlocks. I had a bleach so it can stand out. You know, because whenever sometimes you have in dreadlocks, you don't look like you have in dreadlocks. You look, especially when you have a short, it looks like you have a, it looks like you had like a, you know, free form type of curly hair, you know? So I wanted to stand out, I wanted to, to, to pop out. So I dyed my tips. And so that's how I, I started my dreadlock. And then later on, like I said, I did half and half. I bleached half of it and I blacked out the other half. Cause like I said, the other one had, you know, the tips uh, bleached. So I had to dye it all black and then bleach the other one half. Blue was my favorite, of course, but that, that was like one of my like, okay, that's really cool that what I did right there. I, I didn't think I could do it. You know, a lot of people go to like professionals to get them done and I was able to do it. So fast forward into March, 2020, uh, my wedding, the day of, I dyed my hair all black to uh, for the wedding because I didn't want to go half and half for my wedding. I think, you know, that moment is like a very special moment and I don't want to, look so different than what my kids will see in the future in a way like what people will see me in the future because i don't know if i will have like dyed hair or whatever in the future but i just wanted to go back to black and i was wearing white so i wanted to you know what i'm saying i didn't want to have too many colors going on too many bright colors going on so 
So that's when I dyed it black and I went back to my regular, to my regular, regular hair color. And then few months after that, I went to blue. Yes, I jumped from my tip being dyed to go into half and half to go into black and then now I am at the blue color. And that's when I did it. And I did that in July, 2020. 18, 19 months of my dreadlock uh, journey. And I decided to dye it blue. And it was inspired by uh, XXX Sensacion, of course. That's where I've seen it first. I know a lot of people say it may be purple what he had and it, it, it wear it off and came, became blue or something. So even if he did that or not, I was looking forward to blue because a lot of you guys wanted that color and I personally wanted that color also. And it came out fabulous, like I was so surprised by it. And when I got that blue uh, dreadlocks, you know, I posted how I did it and everything and a lot of people loved it and a lot of people didn't like it. Uh, but after that, I started kind of like, you know, editing my hair and stuff like that. And I tried out purple. I never dyed it, but I tried out purple and different colors. And to be honest with you, moving forward, I don't know what color exactly that I want, I have one thing that I want, but I'm not gonna open and tell you guys what it is because you gotta stay patient for it. But this is basically uh, what I did and things that I did to my hair to get to where I'm at, this journey that I'm in. Right now, my hair is faded out. And as you guys can see this color, this is what my hair color looks like. So whatever color you can call that, it's not blue really, it's not green. That is nothing, it's just like faded out uh, blue basically. And so, uh, and it looks good, you know, it doesn't look bad at all. And that is the colors that I've had. Later on my journey, I had to get retwisted professionally. Uh, this did happen like about four or five months ago. Uh, I had, I went to a loctician and that was my first time professionally, like somebody that does that for a living, retwisted my dreadlocks. And that time I was, I was not letting my hair free form. I was separating my hair after the shower but I needed a retwist so badly. And so after that, you know, she did the retwist and the video is blowing up. And then now, recently, I crochet needled my hair and locked them up together myself. Right now, I'm gonna take out my locks and show you guys what my hair looked like. You guys can see it's like really locked up on the, on the roots so it's very thick and uh, I had a uh, combined the front oh yeah one of the journeys and my journeys one of the things that I adjusted was my front hair lineup I kept on going back because you know you brush it down and you keep lining it up and so you keep on cutting up you know most of your hair and the hair keeps going back so basically what I did I grew it up for about six seven months and I locked them up together and that's why it looks like it's trying to grab everything around. You see how fat this area is, trying to lock them up into one area. It used to just be like right up here, but now, like I said, I grew this one out and connected it to the dreadlocks. And that's why it's looking like it's reaching for a lot of hair on the roots, but it's looking really good on the root side of things. Uh, recently, I did a big mistake. And when I was going up on my haircut, I ended up chopping like some of my dreadlocks right out of the root and I was not proud of that. I think it was like one of these locks back here. It was this one right here. I don't know if you can see it, but that's the root right there that I chopped. Some of it, I locked it together. Some of it was right there, but it's not too bad because this dreadlock is really thick anyways. And uh, it stayed curly because Last time I, I had it uh, two strand twisted uh, to get a curly. After I had it two strand twist last time, you know, it's dead curly since then. That's why it looks really wavy right now or curly. Uh, but this is my almost two years of growth and locks. So this is what it's looking like. And like I said, it's been in ponytail and that's why it looks like this. If I let it down for like a day or two, the curliness would loosen up and it would just like fall down straight down like this. I like the way it looks curly and wavy, especially when I put it up in the ponytail. Um, but this is two years, man. This journey has been great. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. But till next time, keep acting diverse and creating your universe. Thank you guys so much.
Thank you so much for your love. Till next time. I'm out. Stay tuned. You dig?